This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Phoenix. A 14-year-old Arizonan boy has become the sixth American this year to die of a water-based microorganism which invades the body through the nose before attacking the brain. The boy is the latest victim of a nationwide spike in deaths due to the parasite Negleria fowleri. The parasite, which thrives in warm, stagnant pools of water, is usually fatal, but was responsible for only 23 deaths between 1995 and 2004. From Chicago, is Alzheimer's disease a manifestation of diabetes? Recently published research conducted at Northwestern University suggests that insulin resistance, which is associated with type 2 diabetes, is also to blame for the loss of memory formation ability in those suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Because of these findings, the researchers hope that new diabetes treatments designed to fight insulin resistance may also help Alzheimer's sufferers. From Brazil, those who are being treated for sleep apnea via CPAP can sleep a little easier tonight. Research published by the American Thoracic Society has shown that the treatment can quickly and substantially lower the risk of hardening or narrowing of the arteries. Although sleep apnea is known to be associated with heart attack and stroke, the reasons for the connection between them are still unknown. And finally from Dublin, doctors writing in the British Medical Journal are singing praises of Ireland's ban on smoking in pubs and other public places after a survey of accordion experts revealed that the instrument sounded better due to the cleaner atmosphere in bars. The experts remarked that much like human lungs, the instruments quickly become filled with soot when played in smoke-filled bars. From Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.